All right, so let's get to some of the results. In terms of revenue and profits, um, compared to 2012, um, in terms of our survey results from 2012, <laughs> revenue was up. 72.4% uh, said that revenue was up, and that was definitely improvement over uh, the last several years. As you can see, in 2012, 62% said that revenue was up. In 2011, it was 70%. In 2010, it was 46%. One of the things that I noticed, and what I'm trying to do now as I do this presentation for you guys every year, is really try to add, not to make a laundry list, but really kind of give you not just here's what we got this year, but give it a context in terms of what's been happening the last several years. One of the things you'll notice as we go through this presentation is that 2010 was really, that survey, a lot of bad financial indicators. And I would say on the whole, in analyzing all this stuff, that everything seems to have stabilized in a lot of ways in terms of revenue and cost cutting and PPP and revenue per lawyer. Um, in terms of net profits, 64.3% saw them go up, and that's up from the 58% that responded to so that last year. Um, in 2011, it was higher, it was 76%. In 2010, it was 55%. You know, the almighty PPP, you know, which is a metric that I have to admit, even though the American lawyer, you know, it's a big part of the M Law 100, it's one that I don't, I discount, I don't count as much as, I look at gross revenue. That's what I look at. To me, that's an indicator, you know, that and profitability. But I don't always look at profitability in terms of, in terms of uh, PPP. I look at more in terms of just overall net revenue. Um, but in terms of PPP, 58.6% uh, said PPP up was, this, was up this year, and that's, I think, identical to last year's results. Um, and it's something that's definitely stabilized because, as you can see, as you can see from the slide, in 2010, only 37% said their partners per equity partner were up. Now, those reporting PPP being down, um, there were fewer this year. 17, this year, 17.2% said PPP was down compared to the 20.7% in 2012. Now, look at 2010. Roughly 30% said their profits per equity partner were down. Again, in some ways, being an optimist, based on these survey results the last two years, again, you have to say that things are stabilizing at least a little bit. You know, you don't have as much, you know, in firm shrinking. You don't have as much, you know, fight for the, you know, in terms of, revenue going down, so it seems to be improved picture. In terms of RPL, and some people, and again, this is something I'd love to hear from you guys at some point, what you're hearing in your firms in terms of, I mean, some people believe that RPL is the better indicator of a firm's overall health and performance. Um, I'm kind of ambivalent on that one. Um, but in terms of revenue per lawyer, 69% said it increased, and that's versus 60% in 2012. And 10.3% said it decreased versus the 13.3% in 2012. So again, you're seeing signs that things have stabilized. I mean, one thing that we've also heard from consultants, even though they criticize Pennsylvania firms a little bit, most of them have said, look, Pennsylvania firms are largely well run. Um, a lot of the Pennsylvania firms, and I say Pennsylvania firms, realizing a number of you are national um, and don't necessarily think of yourselves as Pennsylvania firms, but that the Pennsylvania firms are largely well run, um, do a fair, you know, they didn't overextend themselves during the boom. Um, so they didn't suffer the blowback, you know. And one of the comments about the Pennsylvania legal market in general is that, you know, you don't see quite the highs that maybe New York or D.C. or Silicon Valley see, but you don't see the valleys either, though. Um, in terms of growth and the size of the firm, um, that was definitely up. I mean, what we do is we ask, we ask a question, you know, did you grow significantly, which is more than 10%? Did you grow, you know, slightly, which is under 10%? And then, or did you say flat? Did you shrink a lot? Did you shrink a little? Um, what I did is, because very few people are growing a ton, is I just combined those two, those two metrics in terms of significantly and a, and a little bit. And this year, 58.1% said they grew slightly, between slightly and significantly. And that's up from 2012 when it was 53%. Um, and in 2011, 67% said they grew. So again, again, sort of, it's on an upward trajectory on that, on that front. And I, and I think at this point, you can say it's a, a bit of a trend on all these metrics. And only 9.7% said they shrank. Um, in 2012, 21.9% said they shrank. Now, th that's another interesting thing that I'll get to later. While they were saying they grew this year and few said they shrank, wait till you see we get to the statistics later on about what they think is going to happen next year. And that's sort of, every once in a while when you do these surveys, you get almost contrary results on certain things. And you'll see that in terms of when we get to the hot practice areas and also in terms of uh, what, they find, what the Magic Partners view is the um, most important marketing um, tools. In terms of mergers and what the attitude is of, of managing partners and our, our respondents to the survey, those actively seeking mergers, it's remained relatively low considering what's happening now on the national level. 
only 6.9% of our uh, respondents said they were actively looking, and that's in line with 2012 when we had, I think, 6.5%. 2011 was much, it was much higher. It was 16.7%, and in 2010 it was 14.8%. So that's also a definite shift. Um, and I'm, again, I, I don't know if it's driven by caution or by people being burned or just sort of the, you know, there's other, there's other focuses right now. 55.2% um, of the respondents did say that they were, they were open. Again, that was in line with 2012 when you had about 58% said they were open to mergers. And then with 2011's results as well, which is around 53%. Um, and this is interesting, especially since the majority of our respondents are, are larger firms. Uh, of those actively seeking a merger or most, 70% were looking in other East Coast cities. Um, and 50% were looking in Pennsylvania and 30% were looking beyond the East Coast.